AutoFluent software allows you to easily track and process both claims and cores in your system. Most of the time you'll be creating claims and cores while working within a work order. Open up an existing work order. To add a core charge to an outside part, first enter in the description of the part in the description field and then click on the blue P. Before a core can be entered, you will need to select the vendor and enter a reference number for the outside part. It is also a good practice to enter your cost of the part as well in the cost field. Once those fields have information entered, you will be able to enter the core charge. The core will be created in your system once the work order has been invoiced. If you are ordering parts from an integrated vendor in your system, some of them will have the core charge automatically populate the core field once you have entered in a reference number. To create a claim return on a work order, you can enter the claim information on any part, tire, outside part, or outside tire. Simply click on either the P or T. Check the Claim Return button and enter the quantity of items that are being returned. Then click OK to save your changes. The claim will be created in your system once the work order has been invoiced. Another way to create a core in your AutoFluent system is by adding it to a vendor bill. Go to Vendor Entry and click on the Bills button. Select the vendor that you want to create a core for and click the New Bill button. You'll first need to enter a reference number before adding the new core. Once the reference number has been entered, click the New Core button, enter in all of the applicable information for your core, click this box if the core has already been shipped, and finally click the Create New Core button. Once this vendor bill has been posted, the core will be created in your system. You can also create a new claim from the Claims and Cores interface. Navigate to Vendor Entry and click on the Claims and Cores button. With the Claims button checked, you can click the New button and enter all of the applicable information for your new claim. You can also have your inventory adjusted to reflect the items that you are sending back if you check this box. Save your changes when done and the claim will be created. To mark a claim or core as shipped, select the proper item on the lower half of the screen. If you are unsure if this is the correct item or not, you can preview the invoice first to make sure by clicking this button. Now click the Ship button and a packing list will be created that lists the part, the vendor reference, and the associated invoice number in AutoFluent. Once the packing list has been printed, the system will ask you to verify that the list printed correctly, and if it did, the system will mark the part as having been returned. To process a credit for a claim or a core, select the proper item on the lower half of the screen and then click the Credit button. On the screen that pops up, you can either use the same reference number that you used previously or overwrite it with a new number if necessary. You can also change the date of the credit if needed. Once you click the Create Credit button, the credit will automatically be created as a negative bill for the applicable vendor in the Bills section of Vendor Entry. If a claim or a core needs to be voided, select the appropriate item on the bottom of the screen and then click the void button. The item will no longer show up in the list of claims or cores still being processed, but all voided claims or cores can still be seen by clicking the show all button.